Welcome back to ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Romans Three Kingdoms Eleven. I shall be your host, as always, General Cooper. And um Alright. Well, due to the characterizations videos, um I got more submissions than I expected. All one of them. <laughs> so I shall honor that man's request and I shall add him in. Alright, let's see here. Um. Alright, so. Name's Ho. Gene. Sex male. Portrait. Page three. Picture eleven. One, two, three, four. Eight. Four, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Really? You sure? Hold on. Page four. Okay. I hope you. Alright. That's the case. Um, let's see. Perf year, 170. Shall be 25 at the time of coming in. Last one was 99. Did you ask for a father? No. You asked for a close friend, though. Zotai. Um. Right. Zotai. There are two Zotai's. I'm assuming it's the one that I actually know about, so. I'm assuming it's that one. Uh, let's see here. Liked officers. Zotai, Zhou Yu, Sensei. Let's look for Sensei first. Mm, there he is. Sensei. Jo you and Zhao Tai Zhao Tai Zhao Tai Zhao Tai Zhao Tai Zhao Tai Down There Um yeah. Um Okay Disliked officers Hmm. You dislike Cao Cao and Liu Bei. Alright. Cao Cao. You have your reasons, I suppose. I don't see any reason to hate Liu Bei. Alright. Mm. Right, abilities. Oh, wait. Model. Alright. Military 2 Red. Right, there we go. Um, abilities. You are leadership leadership eighty one, war eighty nine, war eighty nine, mm, intelligence seventy seven. Politics, 73. Charisma, 79. Oh. Right there. I thought I was going to go over. Um, right. It's growth period. You want in maintain? Yes. Ability, persistence, long. Aptitudes. Spears A. Pikes A. Bows B. Cavalry S. Weaponry Navy. Skills. What skills do you want? You wanted 
Divine Cavalry. I can give that to you. Divine Cavalry. As for character, you wanted bold, voice cool, um, toned frank, he ignores the court and his aspiration is military. I should just add a flat to thing. All right. Um. All right. That was all of them. So that's good. I want to check something actually? Hold on. I just increased the volume a little bit. It seemed kind of quiet. Voice volume, anyways. I don't know. Okay, that was good. And let's start the game proper. As our hero raises his weapon, because he knows I shall try to lead him into victory. Right. I shall be putting in many created officers as well, so that they. Not created officers by me, just like bonus officers from the game. Why do I hear? <laughs> oh god. Okay, I'm sorry. I was distracted by Eddie Epic Saxman in the background. Alright, the bet. All. A sign. Alright, I'm gonna go to Lu Bu. Um. Our, uh, friend, Huo Jin, wanted to go to Sun Se. And right, the rest will just leave and go out into every for any force they so will choose. Alright, um I I guess that's it. Yep, alright. Well, without further ado, let's get started. As we all rem remember, I'm gonna be showing I'm gonna be Helping Lu Bu conquest all the central plains, and hopefully more, if I don't get stomped down in the first five seconds. So, without further ado, shall we begin? Yes, I think we shall. Oh. <laughs> um. Yep. 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 Uh, scroll speed. Breakfast going. Okay. Alright. Let's get this started. It was the year 194. The pendulum of tension between rival warlords had begun to swing. The manipulative Dong Zhuo became infatuated with the beautiful Diao Chan and was later assassinated by Lu Bu. Lu Bu was eventually successful in seizing Chan An. However, he succumbed to Li Jue and his men and was forced to divert to the Central Plains. Pursued from the rear, Cao Cao met Lu Bu at Yan Province 
where the two heroes squared off against one another. Meanwhile, in Jiangdong, the young Sun Tzu was preparing to leave for battle with his sworn brother, Zhou Yu. He was hoping to fulfill the greatest wish of his late father, Sun Jin, by taking control of China for himself. The signs of impending battle began to spread across the land. Okay, all right, it's working now. We are good. I've done this two times now. But we're all set. <coughs> I started dying. Mm. All right, let's get this started. Before we begin, please let me briefly explain the circumstances of our force. First of all, I, Cheng Gong, am Miss Force strategist. Our current rebel force is Cao Cao's army. In addition, we have forced alliance with, formed alliance with Zhang Yang's army. We should make use of our military strength. Mr. Yu made the offices of gold. Your money comes in monthly. You will also require food to maintain your armies, and this comes in every season. Be careful not to run into any shortages. The last force to remain standing on the tunnel will become the supreme rule of the next generation. The decisive battle against South South's forces is approaching. Let's drive a tyrant out of the end and take our rightful place as rulers of China. Oh, if only it were that easy. <sighs> God damn this game. Okay. So, here we are. This is the current situation. We're in Puyang. Yuan Shao is to the top of both of us. Uh, Liu Bei is to the right. Bottom right. And Cao Cao is to the bottom left. We are surrounded by two powerhouses, and Liu Bei is right there. Which also leads us into Yuan Shao. Er, Shu. And Tao Quain. Tao Quain ain't much of a problem. Yuan Shu is. Let's take a look at our, uh, the people we have. There's Cao Zing. Mass, uh, better known as the man who shot out Ji Hao Dun's eye. In the novel, he was then killed after that. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened in history, too, but... Up next is Cheng Gong. Cheng Gong is the man. He er, <laughs> he is the forces strategist. He was originally with Cao Cao, but then he, well, then he re then he realized how much of a dick Cao Cao was and decided to go with Lu Bu. When Lu Bu actually lost in actual history, he was executed along with him. Next, Diao Chan. Diao Chan didn't exist in actual history, as far as you know people are aware, but in the novel, she she plotted with her father, Wei Wang, Ye, Wei Wang Yang something along those lines oh wait, it should tell me right here Wang Yun plotted with her father, Wang Yun, to get Lu Bu and Dong Zhuo to, uh, to fall in love with her and so she could get Lu Bu to kill Dong Zhuo, which worked Uh, next is Gao Shun. Gao Shun, um, I, I don't know about him. They also have little bios down here as well to tell you about him. Skilled officer in the Lubu, participating in battles. After Lubu's defeated, he faced execution barely without making a single complaint. Right. After him is, well, me. You, you know, uh, well, I can't really say much about me. I'm, well, I'm the Let's Player. I, I do stuff. Moving up next is Hao Meng. Hao Meng, I also don't know about, nor do I really care. I might as well read this bio. Officer to Lu Bu sought help from Yuan Shu, and Lu Bu was persuaded by Cao Cao, but was captured upon his return and beheaded. But officially, history rebelled rebelled against Lu Bu and was killed by Gao Shun. Then we have Hao Cheng. He was, he was canned for breaking the law and drinking alcohol amidst a siege. He lost faith in Lu Bu for his outrage and decided to defeat, defect along with Wei Zhu and Song Jian. He, t he stole red hair and fled to Cao Cao. Up next we have, well, the man himself, Lu Bu. 
Officer and late Han remembered in the phrase, Among men, Lubu, among horses, red hair. Death's betrayal agitated the land, but he met a pitiful end when he, too, was betrayed. <sighs> People say he is the strongest among heaven. Maybe the strongest among heaven, but he's the stupidest in all of China. Well, at least in this game, anyways. He's not that bright. He needs a good military officer, obviously. Look at that war stat, but besides that, um, he's not all that great. Next we have Song Jian. He joined Hao Chang and Wei Zhu in surrendering to Sasso after witnessing Hao Chang get beaten for a trivial offense. He was later killed by Yang Liang during a battle against Yang Shao's army. After that we have Wei Zhu. He joined Hao Chang and Song Jian, betraying Lu Bu and surrendered to Sao Sao. He quickly challenged Yang Liang to a duel at the Battle of Bai Ma, but was quickly slain. The Battle of Bai Ma is also better known as the part at least I think it is, the battle where Guan Yu basically killed both Yang Liang and um, Wen Chao by himself while working serving under Cao Cao for a short amount of time. Up next, I don't need to no, read the bio, it's Zhang motherfucking Liao. Zhang Liao's the man, I love this guy. Oh, I'll read his bio. Officer of Wei. Fought through the land under Lu Bu and served Cao Cao after Lu Bu's death. In defense of Hei Fei, held off a Wu army of 100,000 with only 800 men of his own. I love this guy. He's badass. He has a good intelligence set, good charisma. And he has better all around, all around military scores than Lu Bu over here. Personally, I like him more than Lu Bu. In fact, it's my favorite officer in this game. After him, we have Zhang Miao. Prefect of Chen Liu led an army under the subjugation of Dong Zhuo, who was a close friend of Sao Sao's and regaled against him at the suggestion of Cheng Gong. Captured Yan with the help of Lu Bu, but was ultimately defeated. As you can see, most of our officers are either really good war generals, or good Intelligence generals, or intelligence generals, or good um, intelligence officers, and the rest of them aren't all that great, which is in a bad situation when put against these guys. All right, well, the first thing you have to hold on, hold on. first thing you have to do in order to actually have a chance of surviving is to build up some. Actually. Hold on. Is to employ a new strategist, myself, because that's exactly who will be performing all these actions. Myself. I think my breath on to bring you to shame into the position of strategist. Um. Right, we need to pay gold in order to keep these guys happy. I'll also search to see if we can find anyone. Cheng Gong, you do what you need to do. Woo! There are any talented officers, however, it did find throwing blade. Nice. Unfortunately, I used up all my ape action points, so I can't do anything else this turn. I doubt we're gonna find anyone, so I'll just start building up. Now, the main thing you want to do on your first few turns is basically get hit up some, uh, places in order to actually, you know, survive. Because otherwise you're fucked. But when these guys are put, when you, when the only remaining people are these guys, that's not a good sign. You don't do that. Have him do like inspections or something. Wow, seven months already? Hmm. Right, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what my strategy is for this. I'm surrounded by both Cao Cao and Yuan Shao. If I attack one, then sure as hell the other one's going to attack my other one while I'm away. If I don't attack it while I'm rebuilding my force after the fight. He 
gonna show you this right now. So we need to build up some barracks. If they want to hold a chance. Let's see, is there anyone around here? Hmm. Should probably see if we can get some. We should probably see if we can defect some people too. He's not the best, but he's extra help. And of course, you can get him. You. Ugh. I doubt it's gonna work either. I guess while we're sort of just building up, I'll tell you the reason why. I'll just get a little history about why Sao hates us and wants to kill us right now. You see, the reason he wants to kill us is because Lu Bu, after killing Dong Zhuo, he went around and tried to find a place to settle and make a make a name for himself, make him make a force, pretty much. And so he served under, uh, you know. Um, Actually, no, he didn't serve on anyone. Rather, he just went around, and eventually, he tried to attack Sao Sao, as a little intro bit told us. He attacked Sao... Or might not have told us, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, he attacked Sao Sao, and... After... And... Two of, his, two of Sao Sao's officers betrayed him in order to... Help Sao Sao win. Or... Lu Bu win. I'm doing a horrible job at this. Let Lu Bu win, and then he. I could use that guy. Yeah, get him over here. See if we can get him over here. And so on. Right. Could recruit some people. But I'm gonna have you guys build a. Um, Smith. And another farm. I want that guy. He's pretty good. Fortune, no one can. Oh, fine. Can someone get this guy? No. No. Come on, dude. Screw it, me. I'm gonna go against my own. Well, oh, never mind. Maybe I'm right about this. In fact, I'm definitely right about this. That's not gonna help. Let's do inspections, raise mortar. And get some more revenue. Again, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I could attack Sao Sao. And, you know, like... Take him down. Get rid of most of my problems in the east. Take care of, like, a big problem to, like, the east. West, rather. Or I could attack, um, Liu Bei... Get some of his officers, like Cheng Kun. Get some of his officers. He's a relatively weak force right now. I could easily take him down. Because the problem is, I don't really want to do that if I get attacked by both. Because I'll probably get attacked if I leave this place alone.
for some expansion. Just wait for my for the actual smart people to get done. There we go. Okay. Anyone employ this guy? Jay Meow, get to it. You can do it. Very thankful. I'm not gonna send Jang Liao like away for fifty days. It's ridiculous. We need him to protect our people. However, I will Um hmm. uh, I will build a workshop. Do we have anyone that can... Yes. The question is, should I? Yeah, of course I should. I guess to show the items we have to begin with. The items I have to begin with... Since, you know, we're Lou Boo, we start with the red hair, his famed horse, and we start with. Oh, hold on. Recording. What? Mm, sorry about that. Um, where were we? Oh, yes. Yes, we start with red hair, the famed horse, and Lou Boo's famous weapon, the Crescent Halberd. And we we also found throwing blade, which was pretty nice. Sorry, no. That's oh. Okay, I think I know our first course of action because this guy's pissing me off. I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna take those officers. Maybe get the three brothers too. That'll be my first point of order. First point of order is to take that fucking place. See, it's pissing me off. Of course, if I want to do that, I'm gonna have to build up my place. This is gonna. Otherwise, it's gonna end horribly. Oh, he has fame. I can 